Hey, y'all see the fake shit that you got to deal with? With these fake go get along rappers, bro. Rest in peace to L.A. Capone, my nigga. Rest in peace. When L.A. Capone died, I said, who's in charge? Who's getting this and that? But I didn't think deep into it because when, when a good rapper like that died, your mindset go everywhere else. L.A. Capone, Mama and Tay Capone. Rest in peace to L.A. Capone. Tay 600 is Tay Capone. Now, they saying that Little Dirk's manager or DJ, I think the DJ, the DJ been stealing all of L.A. Capone's money. All this fake love that we get. And look, if you're one of the guys that said it ain't true, I don't listen to you trolls. I don't listen to the F-boys. I don't listen to culture vultures. Nigga, I'm listening to from Capone's family themselves, my nigga. So all that shit y'all bringing up is invalid. I don't want to hear about such and such. Because you niggas just love Lil Durk a lot. Just say that. And I ain't mad at you for that. Just say, I love Dirk a lot. I'm not willing to listen to nothing else because I love Dirk. So anybody else speak about Dirk or people associated with Dirk. Oh, forget. Just say that and I'll give you a standing ovation. Other than that, nigga, use an F-boy. Hop your click, click, click and tell off this video and look for the next video to rock with. L.A. Capone got done dirty. Even, even after he died, the guys ain't never used his name no more. The guys used to only use his name during the first time he died to make themselves relevant. Tay 600 was right about everything. A lot of fake capping going on. And a lot of you 600 members too, y'all don't give love to L.A. Capone. Wait, it's a drought, my nigga. I don't hear you niggas speaking on L.A. Capone name no more. It's been one man speaking on that L.A. gang shit, and that was Tay 600. I've been doing videos after videos after videos saying it. Tay 600 hit me up behind the scenes. We got each other's phone number. Big facts. Now, I need to do a better job as a friend and hit him up more, but he sees me building and growing. Tay 600 ain't capped yet, but you capping ass niggas. And I ain't going to get on 600 right now. I'm on Lil Dirk and Lil Dirk's manager. Bro, what type of shiesty nigga is you, bruh? You got to be a low-down, dirty nigga, bro, to do them type of moves, bro. And Tay 600 said them videos had to make at least 500000 half a million since L.A. been dead. Look, Tay Capone, I'm glad you his friend and you got integrity and made more than that, bro. I'm a content creator. When I first heard of that news, bro, go look at the videos. Don't, don't, I'm not even including interviews and other shit they got going. Just LA's music alone. Look at the views and look at the amount. That's a cool million or more, bro. Possibly two, bro. Big facts. If you had a publishing or anything like that, an easy two mil on royalties alone, my nigga. I'm a content creator. I know how much YouTube is dishing out. More income than that you're supposed to get. So who pocketed a million or more in their pockets after L.A. Capone did. But you got to be a piece of shit, bro, to not look out for that man's mom, family, nothing. I got to be fair. You just as dirty as the niggas that killed L.A. When you take income and resource from a man who put his life on the line to accumulate that resource, my nigga, he put his life on the line to make sure all that bread go to mama and them and all that, and you take that away, you might as well as being the lame nigga that pulled the gun, bruh. All that shit in Valley. When Duck and them be talking about Dirk and them be blackballing niggas, and you niggas be tweaked out. Oh, it's, yeah, it's true. It's not. These niggas pick and choose, bruh. Niggas do be blackballing people out the industry. And now we see it. Niggas even be coming at niggas' mamas. Look, hey, all I'm gonna say is when I see the slick things Dirk said to FBG Duck Mama, I, I, birds of a feather flock together, my nigga. It's not far-fetched to imagine the crew that hang around Dirt will be the same grimy niggas that'll do that shit to L.A. Capone's mom. I mean, Dirt don't even trust mo most of you niggas around him no more. It took him a while to wake the fuck up, but Dirt don't trust most of you niggas around him. Most of you dudes around Little Dirt are only built for the ride in the movie, but not built for the longevity. Meaning that when Dirk write them cryptic notes, how niggas got his location and all that, we know that back door been wide the fuck open. That back door stays open. It never stays closed. and never stays locked. We know that for a fact. Who's unlocking the door? Who, who ain't letting that shit close? Motherfuckers back door niggas, mamas and shit. And yeah, bro, what happened to hip hop, bro? 
Just like when Pop Smoke birthday passed, I'm like, all these fools in the streets celebrating. Niggas been quiet as a house mouth since Bashar Jackson been dead. You niggas ain't been riding for Pop Smoke the way niggas like me have. You niggas don't even speak about the actual killers, neighborhood, none of that. Now it's celebration time. All that shit's a facade, man. L.A. Capone put his blood, sweat, and tears literally into his music to the point it even cost that man his life. Cost him his life. The least that we can do in this culture when we hype these niggas up to meet their downfall and death, you would think niggas is out here looking out for the families and shit. So when L.A. Capone homie Tay 600 told y'all years ago, they ain't did shit for L.A. None of them. Not OTF, not 600. You niggas got mad at Tay 600. Well, get mad at L.A. Capone's mama now. The mama says she ain't got shit since her baby boy died. So what y'all gonna say to her now? She capping too? I guess everybody who's around L.A. Capone, the real families, they cap. But the fake friends and the fuck niggas, they telling the truth about L.A. Capone, right? So y'all y'all done flipped the whole script and everything, bruh. Look, I'm with L.A. Capone and the whole family, bruh. That's some shiesty shit. And you can't circumvent, circulate it into one situation and that fuck shit. Nah, bro, the DJ seem like a shiesty nigga too, if that's the case, bro. Dirt, your name been dirtied in these streets for a minute, gang. I ain't gonna lie, bro. Like, I always said, you don't got ties in many people's life. And I'm not mad at Dirt. Maybe niggas around Dirt is fuckboys too who do shiesty things. Because now, now we learning, it ain't gang, gang, gang. <laughs> it ain't gang, 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 bro. Tay 600 going hard in the paint. Tay 600 them changed his name into that man's name. His whole legacy been to support LA gang for real, for real. Lil Dirt goes on track. Even this is way before his brother D Thing died. When the last time you heard, I, here's a challenge for you niggas. And since I'm cap, right? I'm cap, right? Here's a challenge for all you dick riders, educational purpose type dudes. The challenge is. In the last four years and possibly five years, I personally feel longer, but in the last four years or five years, tell me this, riddle me this and riddle me that. When the last time Dirky, yo, Little Dirk, OTF and all the members of OTF, only the family, when the last time any of them threw it up for LA game? Huh? When the last time any of them threw it up for the L.A. game? You know what I'm saying? When y'all threw it up for L.A.? I ain't seen that. I, I, my daughter was still a little, little, little bitty, bitty, bitty baby out here, bro. The last time I heard any of you niggas throw it up for L.A., bro. I ain't hear none of that, bro. I don't hear you niggas taking pictures with the families or nothing. Even if they mad at you, you can make peace, bro, because they grieving. You should understand that why they don't fuck with y'all. You shouldn't be blaming them and mad at them. A real nigga ain't going to be mad at his homie's mama or whatever after his homie die or whatever. You're going to sit. That's why I like Fulio a lot. You're going to sit back and understand that the mom is grieving and hurt right now. Of course, the family going to snap at anybody close to that man because they don't know who did what, who gave what, who backdoored who. Big facts. And that shit gets you to thinking. If a nigga could be greasy enough not to let mama and them get the income, the money or whatever... What part of that nigga death did you niggas have to do with it? You may have not been there and all, but who's doing the phone calls? Who's giving the location? Because I still want to know that. That man didn't put his location out there that day he died in the studio. Yeah, let's talk about that. L.A. didn't give out his location that day. Shout out to his family and friends who made that to be a fact. He did not give no drops. No. So who gave his location at the studio that day? This is all I'm saying, bro. All I'm saying, who gave the drop? Niggas want to rob money and all that. Now the DJ say he ain't make no money. Nigga, that sound good, nigga. It sounds good. Who's getting the money? And that's the thing. If niggas was rocking with LA Gang for real, y'all would have been come to the bottom of this and said, who got my dog's money? Who's stealing money? You would have handled that shit. Niggas didn't handle nothing. To see L.A. Capone's mom sitting there. I want all you kids. Now nah, let's turn up on this video right quick. I want all you kids to know this world is fake. This gang shit and this gang movement is fake. Now you got dirt bitching and crying about one of the guys done set him up. And it ain't just dirt. It's everybody go through that type of situation. It's all fake. 
The whole reality you live in, my nigga. This ain't no brand new situation. All you niggas is fussing and crying about it now. But it's been like deja vu situation back and back and through and through. L.A. Capone got snaked by his own folks. His own folks who said they're all in the videos, giving love. I wish L.A. Capone never put his hand on an OTF shirt, bruh. OTF is only for us, not for everybody, bruh. Like, it, it, it ain't just OTF, it's everybody. All this gang shit, everything, bruh. You can say you love the gang, you love the guys. All you niggas will be flipping on each other, mad at each other, fucking each other's girls, all that shit, bruh. We see the play already, bro. This thing is becoming... Shout out to Chicago for giving us the phrase goofy, bro. This is the biggest goofy thing I've seen as a grown man trying to be part of the Go Get Along crew. Nah, hell nah, bro. I'm going to make my own fucking way. So when I fall off my own two feet, at least I did it the right way, my nigga. At least I can only have myself to blame if I get caught lacking or X, Y, and Z. Nah, I don't, want, I don't want all the guys around me, bro. Get far from fuck around me, bro. Get far away from me, bruh. All that gang, 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 and mamas can't even be taken care of. You niggas is some new, different type of gangsters, bruh. Yes, I know y'all could catch me lacking this and that, but does that erase you being an F-boy? Does that erase you niggas having slittery snake skins? You niggas leaving back doors unlocked for everybody to come in? What does that erase, bruh? Say no more, bro. The target and the eyes have been identified. Kids learn from this shit. Every L.A. Capone video you watch, watch everybody around L.A. and just see the fake world for what it is. When you put the glasses on, you get to see all the hypnotizing potions and elixirs they done threw up in the game. Just to blind you niggas with propaganda and shit. This shit ain't real. These niggas don't like each other for real. They all trying to use each other until one of them can get a come up and get out their situations. Big facts. Watch all these niggas. When they make it out their situations, niggas don't know you no more. Niggas say two definitions of a middle finger and keep it moving. And you don't see us nowhere near around. Everybody, everybody should look out for the mamas when a nigga fall down. Right. It makes you wonder about King Von's situation. Can we talk about that? When King Von uncle called out Little Dirt, that's another story, right? Look, I'm your God bless one. Thank you for watching another episode of I Smoke Hip Hop Live. Salute, y'all.